I'm thinking of bringing back my video series on how to be a handyman. I, I started doing a few of these types of videos, oh, I don't know, months ago, and uh, didn't get very good feedback. Uh, low views and a lot of people complaining that they are not subscribed to my channel uh, to know anything about being a handyman. They just want home improvement videos like you have been seeing. Well, the channel's grown quite a bit, um, almost doubled in size since I think I put uh, my first How to Be a Handyman video out. And there is more of an audience that is interested in uh, the business of being self-employed. So I thought uh, I'd start it up again and call it Handyman 101. I got all this information for free and I think you should have it for free. So that's the, the reasoning behind it and uh, I think I'm going to start maybe tonight. We'll see if I can get something put together, more of an introduction video into uh, what I want to do with the Handyman 101 video series. What? What are you doing? So please give this video a like. Uh, this is me just finishing up those uh, the, w the windows at the blue house. Um, the, the house is going to be painted. When is it going to be painted? It's going to be painted on Monday. I'm not sure what day of the week it is today that you're going to be watching this video, but it's going to be painted in a few days. I'm already scheduled to go back and do more work once the house is painted. I knew I wasn't getting out of there with just doing that little bit of work. Um, so I'll probably bring you along for that. So I probably won't be back in there for at least another week. What do you want to do today? I think Polly and I are going over to the rental house to mow the lawn. Yeah, we'll mow the lawn. See how fast that was? There we go, starting Hand Rub Beauty with Polyurethane Protection. Easy to apply, fast drying. Clear satin. Never used it. I'm give it a shot and see see how it goes. Man, it is hot in here. Of course, I had this, uh, these coveralls in the bed of my truck. They were probably over 100 degrees when I put them on. I'm not putting this on too thick. Uh, it seems to be going really well and quite easy. But I'm getting very thorough coverage. Um, since I'm only doing one coat, I'm making sure there's no spots that I missed. I really think this is just a diluted down regular polyurethane. All right, front window's done. One thing uh, that I'm doing is I'm trying to catch the glare of this, the light outside and just look for any spots that I missed. There'll be a much duller streak where you miss it. And just keep going over and making sure that I don't, don't miss anything. This looks really good for as little like prep and oh I guess best practice in staining and sealing wood. 
Now it's a little bit glossier than it's going to be when it dries. Uh, it's a satin, so it'll dry. Oops. So it'll dry with a flatter sheen on it, and a flatter sheen uh, shows imperfections in the wood and the finish less than a glossy finish does. So it'll look just kind of like. Man, you can't see really anything. Kind of just like natural wood. And it's hard to get a good perspective of what this looks like. Maybe the, the other room, it's got more windows. Now these here, these look pretty darn nice. They're not uh, the cheap pine that's in the other room. But as far as the color goes, these are have been able to age a little bit. And I've like I said earlier, uh, oil-based polyurethane and stains uh, tend to orange a little bit over time. A little bit of an orangish reddish tint. That one there you can kind of see the the aged color better. Let's see how many windows do I got left? Just these two right here. You know, I may try this wipe on poly on um, like a serious woodworking project to see how it uh, compares to the lacquer that I usually spray. I still don't know why anybody would, would choose to do this unless it was a situation like this where you obviously I don't want to spray, I'd have to mask off, I'd have so much time in masking uh, in order to spray that this makes more sense. But if you have like a workshop or a garage or can shed, I used to have a shed, I think spraying is the way to go. I think it's done. One thing I got to do before I leave. And that is, I'll show you. This outlet's on upside down. So I'm going to flip it around before I leave. A little twirly screwdrivers in my tool vest. That's what I get for moving tools out of the, their pl place. More flatheads. Why the heck do I use flatheads? Someone asked in the last video about when I put this in if this was grounded. I have no idea. I'm, I'm assuming that that's grounded. It's got, uh, well, it is some old, old wiring, fabric insulated wiring. Oh, maybe that's what they were looking at. Um, there is a ground wire, yeah. Right there. I'm not sure what that is, but something that's a ground clamp and they're grounding it to the concrete is I guess. Huh. 
some of the things you can see out on, on video that I completely miss. It's weird how the light just won't pick up that black. Of course, it could just be the LCD screen on this GoPro. But uh, ground's up, neutral's down, hot and hot. Well, I think I'm done in this house. Of course, I know I'll be back. There's a lot of maintenance uh, that this house has been lacking for several years. But I, I came across something in the bathroom that I wanted to show you. Um, I just, I'm in a lot of houses and I see a lot of things. Uh, so this is something I wanted to pass along. Ugh, can't even talk. So this is something I wanted to pass along to you as what a bad tub refinishing job looks like. This is a, a specialty trade, refinishing tubs. And this one, my guess is they're going to get it refinished. Uh, the house is going to rent for $1975, $1975 a month. And I'm assuming they, they got to clean this up. Um, the upstairs is nine, yeah, exactly 900 square feet. So just uh, when you are, I don't know why, what the point is of showing this to you, uh, just uh, take it for what it's worth. Oh, nice tiles. Also needs a new cock job. That there, that's interesting. One last look, I pulled the tape off of everything. It is still drying, so the sheen might be a little bit inconsistent. What's this look like? You can kind of see. Not bad. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I got a feeling I'll be back for. I know there's not even a door on this little linen closet here. What is that, a secret shelf? There's a bag of money up here. Nope. No bag of money. Thanks again for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe for those Handyman 101 videos that I was talking about in the introduction.